Welcome back everyone and today's the day we're finally gonna realize a dream that I've been doing for the past year now. A year ago I created the, my first IK solvers based on the GDC uh, that we're watching and the whole point was to create this like system where we can devise different points and directions and then apply it to multiple bones. Uh, just like this example where you have the same technical data, like the same IK data, it can be applied to so many different types of bone styles. So we did that about a year ago. We actually created, I actually created all those, a lot of those solvers and we, we did tutorials about it. So it's been a year since then. I've been building a lot of things, a lot of tutorials from now. And we're finally at this point that we have the IK system. And not only do we have the IK system, um, we also have proto rigs. So I, the whole point is to really push hard on recreating a lot of the, what this GDC thing is about. So, so we're going to be able to do the IK stuff um, and down the line. Uh, we're going to do the proto rigs when, when it's like fully baked. Right now it's, um, it works fairly well, but it's not perfect. And, uh, but yeah, this is what we're going to be building for the next like seven videos. So as you can see, we have the animation that we're sampling and then we're applying it to different things. And, you know, we're doing a bunch of wacky fun stuff, but it works. So what we saw in GDC several years ago, it's now going to happen and it works and I'm going to teach you all. So that's totally awesome. I can't wait till things are, sh I can make it shiny and, and beautiful looking like this example. Uh, but, you know, I've been working on some shaders to actually improve proto rigs and everything else. Um, so, so yeah, we're, we're, we're almost there, baby. We're almost there. So. So there's going to be multiple videos, right? So there's going to be multiple videos that we're going to, that's going to take us to do this. And this video is going to be like an intro where I'm going to talk, walk through some of the, the base code that we're going to start off with every video afterwards. We're going to deal with a piece. We're going to deal with, um, I actually have the examples right here. So I have the initial, then the next video will be about hips. Then the video about that will be the legs, feet, grounding. The grounding is basically how to, uh, check if the bone is going through the ground and then how to reapply it, your IK uh, information. So that's why it's above the ground and touching the floor like pretty much exactly where you want it to be. And then we uh, deal with spine after that. And then after that, we do the final bits, which is dealing with the head and using springs to animate things that aren't uh, in this original source, like the dinosaur stuff that had tails. All that animation is procedurally done with springs because um, the source animation is a human walking. So, you know, there you go. Um, so yeah. So what are we, so what are, what are, what are we doing? All right. So like I have some notes from here. So what, what is the IK rig that I'm building? So, or what we're all building. So the IK rig that we're building is just a collection of chains and points on a skeleton. And, um, we, if you do following me long enough that we, we, we assign a bunch of bones as chains. So you have your leg, so you have your leg, you have your, your, uh, your thigh bone, your, your shin, and that's considered your leg. So it's just two bones. Same thing with your arm, you have your upper arm, your, your lower arm, whatever you want to call it. And that considers, that's another, another chain. Your spine, uh, for most of what we do is four bones. So our chains for our spine, they tend to be about four bones. So that's that kind of thing. Then you have points. We can define points where it's basically like the head, the hands, the feet. Because those are just single bones that we care about that we can apply um, IK uh, slightly differently. Not based on chains, but just in the one individual bone at a time. And the data that we're using is, uh, let's see. So if we go into, so, that's right, I'll show you the IK system. So the IK system, like, this is, is mostly this is struct. Um, so we're just gonna uh, just have a reference to the armature that we're using, um, and we have to have a T pose and a pose, a chain point, and this is I'll explain more when we deal with, like with legs. Um, one of the things that's very important to make this work right is that the source animation should have a T pose. Now the animation itself, the resting pose, does not have to be a T pose. The same thing with our target animation, the, like, you know, a lot of uh, models are modeled in an A pose, especially if you deal with, if you ever get like Fortnite models online, everything is an A pose. So to do IK correctly, all you have to do is move or create a pose um, 
that's a t-pose so this way we everything can be aligned in a certain axis like so make sure the spine's kind of straight uh, make the arms or i just broke some legos uh are out your legs are straight down um well just like this <laughs> like a t-pose uh vegeta doesn't have a natural t-pose so i actually had to create a pose like that uh but the t-pose isn't perfect like the foot twists a little bit so like if you, you ideally you want your, your your feet to be nice and straight and leveled uh like dino his legs aren't perfectly straight um you know there's not much you can do about that uh like i, I kind of did things to get it working so ideally try to get as much as close to a t-pose as you can even though if they're off a little bit the animation is going to be off by a little bit that's just the nature of things um so that's one of the one of the one of the key things we need we need things to be in the t-pose t, uh, t uh the reason why because everything is nice and axis aligned and on top of that we can then define um something i've been calling a uh, quintorian inverse directions which uh, i did a video about like a video or two ago which is, you should definitely watch because it will help with some of the math because uh, all my ik systems now related to 2.1 because this is actually the third version of it that uh, really relies on that because it really helps out and and uh, i managed to build a really good version of a ik system using that idea so that so that's going to be our ik rig um, so like I said, we're, so we need the T pose and we have a pose and that pose is the working pose. So every time we generate a new pose, we're going to use that. We're going to reuse the pose, uh, um, array and the pose array. All it is, is just a copy of the entire skeleton that we get to play with. And when we're done with it, we, we make a copy right back to the actual bones that get actually rendered. Uh, there's not too much when it comes to the rig, uh, uh, initial initializing is pretty simple there's a lot of comments like i don't want to go too much onto this because the code is very fairly simple um you know we we can like i have a setup so this way it automatically auto generates things uh because a lot of things i do is based on ma uh, mixamo bone structures so as all the armatures i have there they have the mixamo skeleton so they have the same names and everything else so it's pretty easy to kind of just create a function that auto generates the uh, ik rig for me uh, but then there's like parts where you can you can create them manually because uh, pro, uh, for the dinosaur a roborex i create them manually um so yeah you just add points add chains uh like i said the the rig itself doesn't have a lot of functions uh it's very very simple uh recompute t pose is because the source animations i'm getting from um mixamo they have uh this scale and rotation applied to it um on the armature itself so for me to be able to do it i need to recompute certain pieces of the t-pose after the fact so this is that's it's like a special method just for recomputing the world space position for the t-pose um and the chain like a chain like i said chain is just an array of bones and i, I pre-store a couple things like the length of the chain so i just add up the length of every bone i use the length square um because sometimes it's actually faster to to do checks of length of square for certain things so this way i might as well just keep both when i when i compute length of square then i do square root and save it to length uh just like here oh no not here uh actually no i put the length in there so yeah never mind <laughs> i must be thinking of something else uh i think it's probably ik target um and then we have like alternate forward and alternate up. Uh, I probably should rename this back to alternate look and alternate uh, twist because I've ver the new version I've been calling it that instead. Um, so this way, like I said, we're going to create this alternate directions to define uh, certain the axis that that we need to um, do IKs together. Uh, when we go through it, you'll you'll see a lot more of how that works. Uh, add bone. What's the first set? How to set the alternate? for easy like said that's um we actually went through this in the previous video so or you can pretty good go for that uh, this one can just compute the length of all the bones because lengths are not part of the armature uh, when you import them through G gltf or fbx's so you have to compute the lengths on your own and this is what the mixamo does like i said i just add points manually and just define the chains so like an arm, I just the right arm, the right forearm, and then the end 
is the hand. So if I want to compute the length of a chain, this way I know to go from here all the way to the right hand, and that's the actual length of the chain after it's in a T-pose. Uh, yeah. So what else do we need to look at? So the only thing, other thing we need to really look at is the IK target. Now, IK target information, I've done in so many IK videos that it's kind of, you know, there's no point in repeating it, but in case you're new to this, I might as well just quickly recap. Uh, we got 10 minutes. I want to try to keep this video short. And so, so our IK information is going to have, depending on how you do it, it's going to be either from two positions or a starting position and a direction. Uh, for all the IK uh, animation that we're doing for this series, it's going to be position and, and direction because that's how we're going to store things. We're going to actually store everything as directions and not actually positions. So the starting position is depending on what you're doing. So if you're dealing with an arm, the starting position is the world space position of the shoulder, right? The beginning of the arm chain. Uh, the end position is your target. That's your end effector. Like how far, so if I have my arm, my camera's over there. And so let's, hey, let's use a finger. So, so <laughs> I'm gonna use the middle finger. So let's say if we're gonna do an IK, so this is gonna be the starting point and the tip is gonna be the starting point at uh, the end point and the IK will be like a nice straight line. And we just have to figure out the curvature of the hand to get to actually do the IK. The IK is actually the curvature at point A to point B. Um, the axis defines what the IK information is. So, so the, the, the Z axis is gonna be our, our, our shoulder to end effector. So like the start and end. So that's, what, that's the forward. Um, the up direction is going to be the direction we want the elbow. And then the right direction is just there because it's there. Uh, why not? It's, it's an access object that I created, so it just generates all of it. So the idea is that we're going to have, sometimes we're going to have two directions. So we're going to have direction from, from the start of the chain to the end of the chain, and then the direction we want the elbow or the knee or the joint to bend. So, so by easily just changing the direction of the up, we ultimately, we ultimately change, um, the rotation of the arm, uh, essentially it's like the twist. So, we're, so, so we're going to do a look or like we're basically going to do a swing and then we're going to do the twist. And that's why in the previous videos I've, I told you, like, I, that's how I described it, swing and twist. Um, and, and like I said, this, this, uh, this is actually pretty simple. Uh, the IK, uh, the IK target, cause that's all it really is. And I just built the IK solvers into it. We've done the, the solvers in previous videos. Uh, this is just, garbage uh this is because i made this i made some improvements so there's aim two and aim bone and this is where we got our um two bone solver and then we have our three bone solver that's for this video for this series that's so, that's the only limb um solvers i recreated um in the future i'm gonna start adding all the old solvers from a year ago and start doing more complicated um experimentations and in, in videos and that's IIK targets as IK rigs. And our initial setup is going to be pretty simple. So we're going to just load up our two test models. Uh, we're just going to load up the animation uh, and our, our test model. So the animation is pretty simple. Uh, it's going to be a walk cycle to start with. And then by the end of the video, we're going to have like, I think five or six different um, videos, uh, different animations that we're going to see. And some are really awesome. I, I, I was jumping for joy a couple of days on Twitter uh, when I got everything working perfectly and started creating the tutor uh, tutorial files. Uh, so yeah, it's, you know, loading A is the same thing as loading B. Um, we're, we're going to create, start creating something called an IK pose because this is where we're going to store all our IK information. Right now it's blank because for every video, we're going to just add on piece by piece. So this way we're not going to, I'm not just going to give you all the code in one go and, and, and it'll get confused because a lot of it starts by the time we get to the third video or second video, it, it starts to kind of like rinse and repeat and just doing slightly diff, uh, different things. Like the idea of how to do a spine is the same thing as how we do a foot or the hips. Uh, it's just slightly different. Um, so that's going to be our IK pose. So this is where we're going to store all our IK information and it's going to be based on chains and, and points. So we're going to save it for left arm, left foot, uh, left foot, left leg, uh, head, spine, you know, that that's how we're going to do it. Uh, compute is going to be how we take the, the source animation 
and then compute the actual IK information that we want to use that then we apply it to the IK pose. So this computes it, it saves it, the information here, and then we call this function to actually apply it to our skeleton, to our rig. And IK visualization is basically just to kind of the test the data that we collect to make sure it actually creates visually what we want. If it creates visually the lines and the points that we expect to see, that means the data is good and it, it is doing just fine. And that's it. That is uh, the introduction. This is the, all the code that we're going to have to go through. I just didn't want to do this in the, in the next video because in the next video, I just want to just focus on hips. Uh, so this is kind of the intro, the startup place, and it's about 15 minutes. And I'm kind of talking kind of quickly because I don't want to make these videos really long because there's so much content. Um, so I'm breaking them down, trying to keep them as small as possible, bite-sized pieces of IK information so people don't have to sit here and listen to me for like an hour or something on the whole thing. Uh, so this way you can kind of do them in pieces. Uh, so that's it. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to deal with the actual hip, IK hip uh, information. So that's going to be fun. I can't wait. This is great. We've been, I've been, I've been doing this for a year and I'm finally happy that I'm actually at this point. So let's get to it. See you guys in the next video and bye-bye.